Hello, Mike here from Comp3 Interactive. Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something really short for you, but I guarantee you're going to use it. And that is an editor cheat system. Now you might be asking yourself why you need this. I will show you that. And you're going to think I could have done with this in all of my other projects. So we're just going to get straight into this one. But first, I'm going to thank Gigatank3000 for sponsoring this video. I've got his links down in the description below. Go check him out on Twitter. Go check out his website. Keep up to date with all the great stuff that he's up to. And I also want to thank everybody supporting me over on Patreon. You guys. Love you guys. All right, so let's take a little look at what I've got here. I've got a shop system set up with a couple of buttons, a buy button, the amount of gold that I have in my inventory, and then the item name and cost, and then just a little prompt text down at the bottom. And if you want to know how I've done this shop system, I don't think I've done one similar to this before, so let me know in the comments below, and as always, I'll sort that out for you. But if we go ahead and play the game, open up our shop menu, we see I can click on these items, and they have a value. Now, if I go to buy it, I don't have enough gold to buy the MP40 because currently I have nothing. So really what I'd have to do, I'd have to go into my own game, play it long enough to get 2,500 gold and then test it. Or you could go and edit your scripts and start yourself off with 2,500 gold. But if you forget to remove that, then all sorts of problems can happen on release. I would not suggest hard coding in a value for something like an amount of gold just for testing when you can do this. So let's get started on this cheat menu. First of all, we need to create a folder. Now I've done this in multiple other tutorials. This is gonna be the editor folder. Now the editor folder, in case you don't know, is a reserve folder that isn't compiled into the final product when you build your game. And that's perfect for us because we don't want these cheats going anywhere near our final game. We only want them for the editor. So inside of that, we're gonna create a cheat menu script. Now that can be called whatever you want. Now with our cheat menu, this isn't gonna be a mono behavior because obviously it's not gonna be attached to a game object. And we can just make this static remove the start and the update methods. And we're gonna need one more namespace, or in fact, we're only gonna need this one namespace, and that's using Unity Editor. And the reason we need that is because we're gonna use something called an attribute, which is only part of the Unity Editor, or this attribute is only part of the Unity Editor namespace, should I say. So inside here, we just make a standard script, such as a public static void, add 1000 gold. And as this name suggests, if we use this cheat, we're gonna give our player 1000 gold. And this is where it may differ for you. Currently, my inventory is just a static class and I have a float inside for my current gold. So however you're updating your own gold, this may be slightly different. But for me, all I need to do is add in inventory dot current gold, plus equals 1000. So whenever this method fires, my inventory is gonna be added with a thousand gold. Now we need a way to actually make this into an editor menu. So above our static method, what we can do, we can put our square brackets in, type in menu item, that's the attribute from the Unity Editor namespace, and then in brackets, we're gonna put a string, and this is gonna be our folder structure. So we want the parent folder to be called cheats slash to make it a sub item of that folder and then we'll give it a name this is going to be add 1000 gold we hop back over into unity we can already see up here in our top bar we have a menu called cheats which has a add 1000 gold option underneath it so you can already see where this is going you can already see how useful this is i hope and you can actually have as many of these as you want. So I'm gonna make an add 10,000 gold, rename that to add 10,000, and then make sure that my inventory current gold is updated accordingly. Head back to Unity, and we've already got that second cheat in there. So let's have a look at this working. So I play the game, open up, I have no gold. I select the gas mask for example and click buy. I get my message, not enough gold to buy the gas mask. But now if I go up here, hit cheats, 
and then we'll add 10,000 gold. Now, it won't look like anything's happened at the moment because of the way that I've got this set up. So if I close my menu and then reopen it, we see now we have 10,000 gold in our inventory. We can select the gas mask, click buy. We have a gas mask added to our inventory and we've taken away 1,000 gold, the value of the gas mask. Same for the grenades, we can add those, add an MP40, and then we'll add Lugas as well. And then if we realize that we've not added enough, we can just go ahead and click add 10,000 gold again, close and reopen our menu, and there we go. So I did say that one was going to be really short, but it's not just limited to what you can do with an inventory, for example. If you're testing different areas of your map, you can have certain cheats that will position your player in a specific area that you're testing. So you just put in the parameters to take you to the Enchanted Forest or whatever you're testing. You could even add those items into your inventory through the cheats menu without even needing to go through the shop. That can do literally anything you can think of. And now just think how much time that's going to save you. Yeah. Nice, quick, short. Took me longer to actually make the menu system than it did to record, edit, and upload this tutorial. Now that's dedication. So with that, I'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel for weekly Unity tutorials.